Grand Prix Session 2 of the Oz and Dead Combined Racing League Intercontinental GT Championship. Uh, sorry for the delay in starting the stream up. We had a few issues with the Xbox app. Um, I found the setting that was wrong and we're now live. Uh, your host for um, Sunday 15. And with me in the commentary box today is Cosmic Robbie. How are you going, Cosmic? G'day. I'm good. How are you, Zeno? Yeah, going pretty good. I'm happy now that we've got this uh, software up and going now, so uh, you guys can now watch watch these guys and guys, blah, 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 blah. all these drivers as they battle it out um, in the second of three sessions for this race tonight, the Spa 24 hours. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, if I just bring up the results from the previous, uh, from the previous session, um, <coughs> the grid, as you see on the top left, is the grid in which, uh, is the order in which the cars would be uh, starting the race in. Of course you use <coughs> compression formula from the last uh, session to dictate where people start. So uh, Lockie, because his teammate myself uh, finished in first in the previous session, he gets to take off the start grid in first place. Followed by Shads who will be starting 26 seconds behind. Fish Racing third will start also 26 seconds behind so that will be no to tail should be a good battle to start with dark racing is in f will start in fourth 33 seconds behind uh with rsj starting fifth he, he will be 37 seconds behind colonel lloyd is in sixth he'll be starting 38 seconds behind woody lizard in seventh will be 43 seconds back Triple Road of Racing in 8th, he's filling in for Highlander. He, and uh, AJ, he will be starting 50 seconds behind. Speed Racer will be starting 59 seconds behind. And Knight Pegasus will be starting 1 minute and 11 seconds behind Lockie. <coughs> so the field will be start getting a bit spread out, but there should be a tasty battle between your teammate Cosmic and uh, Speed Racer. No, not Speed Racer, Fish Racing. Yeah, it'll be interesting to ride off the line there. Being let go straight at the same time, pretty much. So it's going to be interesting to turn one and up the straight. <laughs> so you'll be hoping that your driver can bring home the bacon this week? Uh... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if he can catch Lockie. Lockie's got a decent lead if Lockie can keep it clean in the fast. Make it hard for Shads. Yeah. Obviously, Shads is very quick, so. Yeah. I think Lockie's going to be fighting an uphill battle. <laughs> it's a long, long session, and that's where Shads comes alive over the, the longer the race is. He tends to do better. <laughs> well, yeah, well, the three insurance races we've done so far, we did, uh, we've done two Daytona events and an Imola race, and he's won all three, so... Uh, and he's won the Indy 500 as well, so... It certainly yep. proves true. It's, uh, Someone's flashing their lights already, Duck. He's uh, playing some mind games with uh, Shads. Oh. As the race is now underway with Lockie, he'll start going. He gets a 26 second gap. Uh, yeah, race is underway. <coughs> Down towards Eau Rouge goes uh, Lockie. As we sh start, we'll start. Uh, Close to the start for Shads. Yep, Shads is off. And Fish follows Shads him. Shads and Fish are away. This would be a tasty battle to start this race. If uh, if uh, Fish can turn that Merc on quicker than Shads can turn his NSX on. It's, it's Darky away, is it? Yep, Darky is taken off. It's Darky so and Speed Jay. Race. There's RSJ in that Porsche. The number 119 Machuca Motorsport Porsche. Is that, he did a pretty good job in that first session. I think he made a couple of mistakes. But he did. I think fifth place is the highest he, in the races so far. I was very impressed with him. He, he's come a long way. Is and hopefully he can continue racing with us for the foreseeable future. Closely behind RSJ's Lloyd. Lloyd also drove a pretty good 
uh, stint with the previous race. <coughs> up as high as second before having to make a mandatory pit stop and unfortunately a wheel issue right at the end cost him a higher place finish. Yeah he was making my life hard for me, he was leaving leaving me for dead after I came out of the pits and I was worried but then he had that wheel issue and So Chats is starting to pull away from uh, Fish as Chats' tyres are starting to come back up to temperature and uh, that he'll start making inroads on Lucky 5.5s. Five it was a lot calmer than I thought this feels like. <laughs> Fish, I thought he was going to try and throw it up the inside of Chats there if you, if you got the chance. That's what yeah, I would have done. It's tamed up a little bit, <laughs> but it looks like the battle between Arstra and Lloyd is starting to really heat up. Yeah, yeah that, Lloyd's... It looks like Lloyd got a poor accident in that front of the They got really close at one stage yeah. by looks of it. <laughs> oh, well, there's half a second in it. That's what I looked. Tell the Merc... the Merc's in will be the fastest in a straight line. Actually, Lloyd's right in the Merc, he's in the McLaren, I keep forgetting. He's filling in yep, yep. for one of the same time as last one, I say. But he's like he's in the of McLaren. Of course, uh, the McLaren. The McLaren is a very quick car, as has been shown, but has been prone to a bit of unreliability. Uh, hasn't had a clean run yet. Hopefully, this week that will change. And I don't know if they spoke about it in the first session, but Lloyd was uh, called off about 30 minutes before the race because uh, Dominator was due to replace Whopper this round but his pedals failed about an hour before the race started so yeah, yeah his locked. house had Lloyd's a power surge good, considering he's had no practice for this race in the McLaren <laughs> yeah. yeah it's a tough gig for Lloyd he's done a pretty good job always been Mr. Consistent Colonel Lloyd and, uh, and this race has proven that Showing to that be the case again. Woody and Triple are kind of close, aren't they? It's about four yeah. seconds of gap at the moment. <coughs> Triple, of course, taking over from AJD and uh, Highlander um, in the uh, Black Falcon Racing. That's not black, it's blue. <laughs> Whoever named that needs to be fired. But, uh... <laughs> But Triple, he did a brilliant job last week uh, replacing Lockie Five Fives. He's definitely become the driver most in demand when you need a replacement. Of course, took the win in the number 124 Cash Show Mercedes Benz. So he's got good pedigree and uh, will be looking to continue his fine form here today by trying to chase down Woody, who has, actually looks like Woody's gained on Triple over the last lap. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, I expected Triple to close down on him in that Merc, especially around here. But Woody's holding his own at the moment, so good on him. He's had a, he's had a tough time throughout this championship. He's never quite quite been on the pace, and he's had a few mistakes. But it's good to see him finally, finally coming alive. Triple's dropping off as we speak. Yeah, it seems to. Shads has actually had a troubled first lap there. As, oh, as we say lucky. that, dark year. <laughs> Fish are uh, very close. As I was... <laughs> yeah, with this will be tasty yeah. going up our rouge. Dark year was very quick in the previous session, just got caught out with you know, a couple of incidences and uh, crossed the pit lane uh, wrong on the previous lap and uh, in the previous session. Gomes off the drive through. Almost Ooh. fell a lap down, did Dark year. Dark has got a run here. He does. That Audi. He's struggled the first two rounds, but it's fired. Who's going to be the bravest <laughs> on the brakes? It's wise for Bull. Fish has run strong. wide. He's going to get a shocking exit here. Darky's back there. Well, wise for Darky. Sensible driver for Darky. And still 90 minutes left in this session, so anything can happen. 
but Audi has been quick. And Irish Day and Lloyd have closed up too. Yeah, it's very it's closed right up. Very close, but I think a couple this, of good battles going on here. Yeah, there is, but I think this one's the one to watch. This one is for third place, but most importantly, track position between fish racing and dark racing. Both have been long, have been racing in ANZ CRL for a long time. Dark racing, one of ANZ CRL's founders, has always been a quick driver, and he's showing that experience right here. Audi's working a treat in these uh, cold conditions right at the dead of night. Fish ran a little bit wide coming off that corner, he might. Might be vulnerable for a shot on the brakes coming into the bus stop. Yeah, I've noticed that um, the Merc being driven by Fish and Taipan has really struggled. Uh, hasn't quite been at the same Here pace as. Oh, Darkie's got to get inside. I wasn't That's expecting that. Move. Making a statement. He's a great Solid, move. Great pass from Dark. Great move from Dark Racing. He's, he's going to have to defend into turn one now because that Merc's got the straight line speed on the Audi and, yep. and he had a good exit too. Oh, he pulled out of it. Fish pulled out of it, which was maybe a wise move. I probably would have gone for that overtake, but. Um, yeah. But there's a long straight coming up and that Merc's got the top end on the Audi, so. So we'll see how they we'll go see how he goes. up over Ugen, through over Ugen, up radial. Oh, wow. He's right done well through there. It's not easy going up there behind that car. That no. car the dirty air effect in these cars is absolutely horrendous. Oh, we've got two overtakes on at the moment. Yeah. Right behind them Go back onto <laughs> Lloyd, because Lloyd is making a move on RSJ for fifth place. Up the inside. Has he gone in too deep? Oh. No, he hasn't. He holds it. What a move ah, from nice. Colonel Lloyd. He's pulled that up well. <laughs> Done a good job there, Lloyd. Bit of action in the opening 10 minutes of this race. Good to see. Yeah, it's quite entertaining to watch. Darkies. Pull, pull a little bit of a gap on Fish. Yeah, Shatz is not quite as quick as I was expecting at this early stage. He's about 4 tenths quicker than Lockie. I was expecting him to be a second quicker, so either Shad's are struggling or Lockie's are showing good pace. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure on what the expected times are for this session. Um, we'll have to see as the session progresses. Well, I think Irish Jenny just made a bit of a mistake. Oh no. Just the timing screen lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not, it can be a bit unreliable with the timings. As uh, <coughs> as we start lap 5, Lockie with the 21 second lead over Shads. Darkie 5 seconds behind Shads and will probably start closing in soon. Fish racing down to 20 yep, seconds. Lloyd, Lloyd 30 seconds behind. RSJ 32 seconds behind. All the gaps throughout the field now are sort of a bit stable at the moment as we see Lockie going up onto the Camel Straight now. And I was seeing the engine temperatures for uh, Shads and Lockie are up over the 100 degree range. In fact, Shads is up yep. to 106. Is that going to hurt him when the sun comes up in the morning? Uh -huh. It's hard to say. I was on that that Honda normally does all right. I was, I was getting to about one, one twelve, one fifteen in the. Oh, has something happened to Lockie? Uh, that gap's come down oh. massively. Oh. That's down to thirteen seconds between Lockie and Shads. He's, something has happened. Is, is his car look all right? Has he tapped the wall? Uh, it looks, looks okay. To me, he might have just had a spin. He might have just spun it at Lacom. Which is a very easy thing to do. Even Darky, Darky's within 20 seconds now, so 18 seconds. Yeah, everyone's closed up. So yeah, that's definitely been that's definitely been a spin for Lockie at Lacombe. I think <coughs> is that Darky catching on Shad's too? Uh, I don't think so. It's hard to tell, but it's still that five second gap. I thought, yeah. 
Shantz was the fastest driver in the previous lap. Closely followed yes, by yes, Darkey. The Shantz we'll see what Lockie's lap was this time around. Yeah, we'll have to see. But it's been a poor lap for Lockie so far. <clears throat> i tell you what. And that's what Lockie's got to minimalise. Those small mistakes, because he's got the pace. He just... When he makes those mistakes, he, he leaves himself vulnerable. Yeah. That's what won you and the race and me the second place. We just made the least mistakes of anyone, so... Yeah. You don't need to be that brilliantly fast. You just need to keep it on the track. Yeah, exactly. In the right direction. But Fish doesn't Yeah, he's quite made a big to... mistake there. Yeah. That's a 10-second mistake. Oh, he spun it again. Almost. He locked the rears coming to turn one there. You'd be screaming at him to turn the brake bias a bit forward, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Merc is very very harsh on his brakes as he's cut, cut Ratty on now, ooh. so Lockie really struggling at the moment. Uh, not quite in the rhythm that he wants to be. I'm hoping that he can turn it around quickly. Just give him a few laps. He'll, he'll, he should cool his jets down and just set back into a nice groove now. Yeah, because Lucky, the, and the only driver in the field that he's using a control instead of a wheel, so he's, he already has his work cut out for him to begin with. Darky and Shad's a very similar pace. Oh. Both. Darky was only a tenth slower. Something's happened to Lloyd. He has. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's that McLaren being hard to drive again. Yeah. Very oversteering to car. Yeah, it seems to it seems to always be the way with the McLaren. No matter what session it drives in, no matter what track, it's just a handful. And I reckon Uncreed Squid. There, there's a, a close battle behind him too. Yeah. <laughs> Between so Triple and Woody. Yeah, so I thought that might close the gap up, but yeah, he's got there. Triple's finally switched on that Merc. Took him a few laps, but he's now he's now got into that got groove, and uh, we'll be looking to make an overtake on Woody Lizard over the next few laps. They've done very good, AJ and um, AJ Highlander. And, uh, Highlander over the last two races. AJ had a bit of an off race earlier, and that's put him back in the field a little bit. Yeah. They were running up in well, qualified heard, second. And... I heard that AJ and Dark Racing actually came together uh, in that first oh. session. Had had a little incident, and uh, that's what's uh, that's what set him back in the pack. Lucky made another mistake. He's lost another couple of seconds to Shad's there. Yeah, yeah, possibly. I yeah, mind the mistakes. Another bit of a slow lap. As long as he keeps out the wall, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, if we... <coughs> I've got to apologise for Cosmic and I not quite knowing what happened in Session 1, as we've only... Uh, session 1 only <laughs> finished about an hour and a half ago, so... We haven't had a chance to watch it, watch the um, Session 1 broadcast back. So if you... If That's you Woody, guys, Woody running wide. Yep. <coughs> I think he's going to have a run down the outside if he's brave enough, but... Yeah. He can do it there, it's a wide enough corner. Maybe he'll do the switch. He'll set himself move. up at least. Yeah. He's got a very good drive coming off there. They're going to be very close to our rouge. Well, he's had to back out there. <coughs> yeah. He's Ooh. kept it tight through That was a lot of curb use. That's a triple! Oh! <laughs> yep. I thought that was going to end badly. I was about to say, he it very tight there. Yeah, triple right on that ripple strip, <laughs> going up the hill, and then just sent him sideways on the exit. Very easy to do, but thankfully kept it out of the wall. And in a couple of laps time, we'll have another crack at Woody, is it? It's a side note. Woody's running, not running much fuel at the moment. He's only on 84 litres, so he's he's underfueled the car. He's going to have to put more fuel than Shad's and every other Honda, I think. Just noticing that. Actually, Shad's looks a bit low on fuel relative to where we are in the race. Um, 
No, no, that's about right. That's about where I was. That's, you're starting with full tanks. It's about where you are. The first, it's about, um, it's about you lose use about 50 liters per half an hour. I worked out in that Honda, so he's about he's about right. So down to within 10 seconds between Lockheed and Shads. <coughs> As Gear 3 Gaming has joined the broadcast. Um, <coughs> of course, Gear 3 Gaming, he actually did not too bad of a job in that first session. He was able to keep it clean. I guess it was towards the back of the pack, but at the end of the day, you keep it on the lead lap and you give yourself a, even an outside chance of getting a good result. So Speed Racer sitting in 9th place will do the remaining stints uh, for, that, uh, for that number 86 Michael Shank Racing Acura. I think he's even starting to close up on Woody and Triple. Yeah, that's... Pretty consistent gaps at the moment, there's a bit three second gap between Fish Racing and RSJ and another three seconds between RSJ and Lloyd so and then another three seconds between Lloyd and Woody so they're relatively oh, close to each other between what? from fourth to eighth as uh, Lockie's lost another four seconds there so yeah I've just noticed that he's he's struggling at the moment we should go on board and yeah, be interested to see where he's gaining and losing time. Because this is about to become a battle for the lead in a few minutes time. Shad's and Dark here on it. <coughs> Shad's also fastest driver. Um, fastest driver on the previous lap was Shad's. So he's really flying that accurate. He's now in that optimal window and he's... Uh, I've got to say, I really do like how the compression formula bunches up the field. It makes it really, it's, it makes a really good race in the series. Yeah, yeah, it provides good racing. The and whole way. If you if you manage to make a mistake and uh, and drop back a lap, you can get that lap back pretty quickly. The even fall back like four exactly. laps behind in a session, and still remain on the lead lap. So it <coughs> means a mistake that. Critical mistake is all of a sudden not so critical. And, uh, that's a not an ideal line through the bus stop for Lockie. As we hit, Chad is going to be have eyes on him now. Yeah, he's got him in his sights now. With one hour and fifteen minutes to go, this is going to be a tasty battle in about five to ten minutes. It could even be sooner if Lockie keeps making mistakes that he's been making as we start lap 9. As we say that, Lloyd's closed up to uh, RSJ again a little bit. Yeah, he's creeping up there. <laughs> Getting quite close. Uh, this could end up in a three-way battle for 4th place. There's <sighs> Fish Racing. He's, yeah. he's not running away from them. But... Yeah, Fish Racing. He's seems to be struggling in that Merc, he just can't quite get it switched on at the moment. He could even have a tie glitch, as he's prone to have. Oh, Chase. Woody, didn't even notice, but Woody's made a mistake, he's behind uh, Speed Race anyway. Oh no. So yeah, that's happened in the last 30 seconds or so. Um, I'll be interested to see if... Uh, when he's got himself any damage. Of course, you know the Acra's pretty well there, Cosmic, so you'll be able to reference your um, top speed with uh, Woody's and see where it is. Yeah, he, he looks about right. He's about, it's about right. All right. So that probably just had a spin in the race. So. As that lead, gap to the lead is Go. down to three seconds, four seconds, Ooh. roughly. Shads is coming, and he's coming quickly. Lockie at 2.27 on the previous lap, is it? He just made that one mistake, and I think it's got to his head a little bit now. Yeah, he just needs to try and settle himself down. <coughs> he 
yes, he's in the lead, but he's also got to remember there's still a long way to go. You don't need, you don't necessarily have to lead heading into the final session to win the race, especially with the compression formula. Yes, it's uh... Irish boys right up the back of Irish Jay. Oh, yeah. It's pretty close. Really I thought it said half a second then, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> that's the problem with the... It's hard to get used to. Yeah, that's the problem with the, the gaps is that they don't necessarily reveal... Well, it doesn't exactly Too say much. how close you are. It's a bit out of whack. But it does yeah. get a bit of a guide. As Shad was 1.1 seconds quicker than Lockie on the previous lap. Ooh. We're getting close to a tasty right. first place battle. Everyone else is pretty stable except for this battle for fifth that's within a second now. Yeah. Lloyd back in the slipstream and dirty air of RSJ. I don't know how bad the dirty air is behind the Porsche though. I know that NSX is the worst for generating dirty air. Oh, here we go. Just doesn't have the legs that McLaren down the straight. Probably running a lot of aero on that McLaren. But that McLaren corner takes the corners very quickly when everything is perfect. But it's so easy to make a mistake Ooh. when you're driving. Yeah, RSJ's, RSJ's off. The track. off. And that's costing. Oh, he's made that very easy. He did good to not loop and spin that around and hit the wall then, so... Yeah, very easy to actually spin That's that fair. section of the track. So to keep it clean, he's actually done a pretty good job. Oh, Lockie's made a mistake, he's in third. He's made a big mistake. Oh dear. We missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about the battle for <laughs> first, and we don't even get one. Oh, no. Oh, Lockie. The car still is clean, so it looks like he's kept it out of the wall. Which is the main thing. With an hour and 11 minutes to go, Shads has taken the lead. And he'll be trying it's good to for me, not away. so good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I didn't want to see it happen like that, but I'm, I'm not unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shad's down to 23 that time, so did he have to slow down more to avoid Lockie's car? He might have, he always... Oh, if Shad's was 25 that lap, it would have been this lap. Ah, so he's been slow for a couple laps now, so... Yeah, Shad's has uh, backed it off. Darkie's on a tail. Yeah, I think that lap he might have... Uh, I don't know where Lockie had, but he was probably just on the track. Probably on... Shad's... I assume he spun it at pool or something. Yeah, we'll see how he looks through a rouge. Yeah. You ready on? Keep running wide there. Cutting it. So, so of course, get your slow down penalty and you have to break pretty early for the con. Is he? Not a bad idea. Is he close enough to Darky for a little bit of aero wash coming up to a rouge there? Uh. He's probably, probably right not, on that bubble. But that Audi is actually not too bad for aero wash. It's just that. Oh dear. Oh no. He's made. He's struggling. Made a mess of that one. There's something wrong. There is something seriously wrong with that. With that Merc. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's not set up. It's not set up very well. Shame. As we say that, Darkie's within four seconds of Shad's now, so. <laughs> and Irish He's Jay's doing alright there, Darkie. Still sticking with Lloyd. It's about two seconds of the gap, and it's two seconds between Irish Jay and Triple. Oh! Lloyd's hit the front of that, but. Something. Let's have a close up. Yeah. yeah. His headlights are at his. I don't know what he's hit though. I might have just hit a bollard. Yeah. That could just be what it is. Because it looks a bit scratched away. It doesn't look too. It doesn't look like the body works really out He's going to be a. Uh... to see a few scratches. Yeah, the headlights are out for me, I don't know. So, uh, here we I've are, got, got waiting for daylight. 
Yeah. Um, so, well, it's pretty smashed up on my screen. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know why it's, it's not appearing. Yeah, not he's got no enough. headlights. Right. That's a bit of a... Project cars. Yeah. Bit of a... Bit of a decent... Bit game. of a muck up there. So we've still got a few hours of night time in this session. Well, actually, it's saying... It's saying that the sky's starting to look a bit blue, so we might actually be starting to move into daytime very shortly. So we're getting, so we're getting close to half an hour through this race. Now, Darky's been faster on Chad's on that lap too, so yes, he's, he's now almost three, only three seconds. So is, is Chad struggling, or is he Darkie's just on the Um. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look. Um, I don't think he would have. No, he looks alright. I don't think he's had a touch with Lockie when Lockie made that mistake or anything. I don't know. The conditions he might have just now, backed off for a few laps. The conditions now are actually a lot colder than what they were at the start of the session. That engine temperature for Shads, at one point it was up over 110, it's down to 90. So. Yes, that's... Darky quicker again, two seconds away now. Yeah. He's, catch he's catching quick. We might get that battle for the lead. Why don't Darky really targeted this race to be... to be the race where he puts in a strong performance and he's doing so right now. The Audi it's good is to on see Darky's had a bit of... Darky's done well with championship. It's just his teammate, he's had a bit of bad luck the last couple of races, so he's hoping yeah. to turn that around. Like well, tomorrow night. Well, I think he's just only recently returned to the group. He had, he's spent probably half a year out of the loop, not doing any racing, so it's all, for Hyperjuice, it's all about getting back up to speed with the game and how the car's yeah. handled. And he's really struggled recently. Hopefully, Hyperjuice can do all right. <laughs> tomorrow but uh, at the moment Darky is flying down to 1.8 seconds now as we approach the end of lap 12. Ooh. Shads will be starting to feel the heat. I think Darky went a little bit deep into that corner to the yeah. bus stop then. That's what I was thinking too. He's pushing, he's, he's pushing. Yeah he is and look at look at that. Again in Two the 24th of Shads. He's I had this this trouble about this point in the race, the, the Acura just didn't want to, it felt like it just wanted to stop it was about half an hour in. It started off trouble, I thought it was the conditions just changing, but maybe it's something else. Yeah, well I thought, I thought it was, it felt something similar with my car as well, so maybe our cars are fast, but maybe not as consistent as what we would like. that or maybe Shads has hit something but don't doesn't look like it. Not that much different in top speed between the two so the darkies on less fuel at the moment too. Yep so that could not by much. Not by much but the um the Acura does start with ten litres more fuel than what the other cars do. Yeah. How much how much is Lockie's on less than both of them. Yeah. Yeah, the poor man. How much is Lockie going to have to fill up? And you will have to fill up about 40 stop. to 45 litres of fuel at his pit stop. Yeah, The Merc real, really guzzles that fuel. <laughs> Very thirsty thing. Yeah, Shad's is going to have to put on about 30 litres. So. Triple and speed race are quite close at the moment, but we'll stick with this battle here. As it's starting to really heat up. Less than a second now between so Shads and Darky. Lloyd and Lloyd and Speed right and um no, it's Jay. Uh, fish, sorry. That's fish. Oh, fish. It confuses me, they're both race. Yeah. <laughs> RAC. Yeah, it doesn't help <laughs> it doesn't help us. We have to know where the cars are in advance before we can start calling it. It's even worse when well, speed and fish are racing for position together. against each other. <laughs> Ooh, Darky's got a bit of a... Ooh, are they going side by side in there? 
Shenzhen's defended. That's going to compromise his run, exiting the final corner. And we could see a change in the lead at the end of this straight. Okay. As we start uh, Darky didn't get a very good exit. Into La Source we go. Shads is now under pressure. He spun. That was a bit oh. of a spin for Shads. Yeah, little... Because at this point in the race, I actually had to, uh, I had to turn my traction control off a bit. Because just out of there, the wheel started to spin. Yeah, you heard the engine bolt down there as the car rotated. Now Darky oh, got a better go. run through the hill. Into the slipstream goes Darky. And we'll see a change for the lead. Dark darts to the outside, does Darky. Shouts to the inside as they enter Lacombe. Could we see a change of the lead here? Not quite. Shads is holding on. This is all about car position. Very hard mean to pass. Yeah. Who's going to blink first? Well, that pit stops are probably still a long way away yet. We did see some early pit stops in the first session, but it was more due to damage. Dark, he did stop strategy. early. Yeah, but he also uh, had an impact with uh, AJ and lost his rear wing, so... He was forced to pit uh, anyway. No, that was before that. This was in the first half an hour. He pitted while he was in front of me still. Yeah. Oh, Shad, are a little bit right. He might get a slowdown for that. Yeah, and that could close Darky back up again. It's... <laughs> it's about four-tenths the difference now. Darky's car looks so As we said, much uh, better. Lloyd's got ahead of RSJ. Nice, so he's speeding. Was RFJ mad? Oh, has he? Oh. Yeah, he's, he's starting to lose up. time to Lloyd. Fish and Lloyd are close, it's close back to each other. But has Darky now got the run? Yeah, what? Can... <laughs> it's always tricky this, this left hand, next left hander following close. Yeah, might see. Very likely to see Darky run wide. No, Shads has run wide. Jeez. Shads was the one that to run wide there. <laughs> That's... Defending into the bus stop again. This is going to start holding oh, these two up. Oh, he's very deep. Yeah, this is... Darky's going to get a much better exit there. I don't know if he did, though. It's funny, that corner. It's, you think you can get a better exit by doing that, but it doesn't always work. Nah, uh, the... So, the... The tarmac at the exit there is quite Shaz is having trouble coming out of that corner. Yeah, he's actually, he's really struggling in general. He's doing similar lap times to Lockie, so... The Merkin... Yeah, but they are battling. The so. Merkin Acura. Yeah. The Merkin Acura, though, were quick in the first session, but now as we enter the second session, they really don't like the nighttime weather. Now this Audi's just come alive and a bit too far back this round for the Darkie, but I'm sure it'll close that back up pretty yeah, soon. Darkie's tuning his Audi to perfection. He was pretty quick in that first session. And oh, is he going to have a look here? Into Brussels. Oh, he does. A bit, oh, a bit of a, a, bit a of little bit of rubbing. Oh, that's... Shad's just going to... Oh, yeah, Shad's he lost it. The Shad's lost it. No, he spun the rear. Uh, He's done good too. He did good to gather that back up and not lose too much time, so... Yeah, Thank God. Shads is not happy. But you can tell by the body language Darky, he's approaching Paul. But Darky's still having a brilliant race. He's very strong. He is strong. And as you saw there, change in the lead with Darky in the lead. He's already put out a one second lead over Shads. And Shads will be looking to try and regather that... That, um... Acura may might need to make a pit stop to reset the, the tire pressures a little bit. That could be an option for Shads because at the moment what's happening at the moment is not working. We'll see because these do these hard tires, which they're both on, do kind of go through phases. So they might car might start to come to come back again soon. So see how he goes. We'll keep the update on that. Now as this battle's over. This battle is looking pretty close right now. Yeah. It's been close for the last few laps. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> the only reason we haven't been watching is that we've been looking for the battle to the lead. But Lloyd tucked into that slipstream with the Merc, which is the Merc. Very slippery in a straight line. It would be benefiting Lloyd to be 
in that slipstream, we were pulling forward. Will he make a dive bomb into the bus stop chicane? As they hit the brakes, now he's being sensible, just going to keep it behind here, maybe set a move into the source. Oh, that's a slight Ooh, just made a mistake fish. there. Yeah, lit up the rears. But Matt Merck's look. just got the legs. He does. Can Lloyd dive it down the inside? He just can't. Though? No. He's run wide again there, Fish. Yeah, the Fish has been struggling all session. Oh, yeah, don't think the tyres are in the right operating window for Fish. It's been pretty... Been off the pace compared to Lloyd. All nice. Up, ready on, and Ooh. that's wide for Lloyd. That'll be a slow Ooh. down. I think he almost lost it there, by the look of it. As it came back on the track, it swung back. Yeah. Into the Lacom they go, and uh, looks like Fish has pulled out about a half second lead over the Lloyd, just because of just because of brutal, brutal um, straight line speed. Fish has lost oh. it. Oh no! Oh, no. that's gonna hurt Lloyd that'll, big time. Be going in oh, that's that. that's, that's gonna... wobbly. That front left of Colonel Lloyd's car is wobbling around. That'll be a pit stop. That's a shame. He was doing very well. Yeah, <laughs> very unlucky for Lloyd. Now RSJ is gonna cap capitalise on this one. Yeah, was RSJ is gonna find himself in fourth place. Yeah. Triple, triple How much damage is on both of those cars? Well, I reckon there will be steering damage for Lloyd, suspension damage definitely, and aero damage. Don't know how much damage would be on Fish. I didn't quite see where Lloyd hit Fish's car. If Lloyd only hit Fish on the side, there's a slight chance that Fish could have gotten, gotten away without damage. But Fish does look slow. RSJ's caught up to him since that incident. So. Yeah. He yeah. might be struggling a bit with think both suspension cars, damage. I think both cars are hurt. Oh, there we go. Oh, fish is oh. on the grass. Oh, no. No, that's RSJ on the oh, grass. Oh, that's not the way to do it. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> Four. And that's... Yeah, triple road is going to go through all him. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, this is an intense ball. <laughs> Scrap. This race is going off. <laughs> Guys, there's still another yep, session. Yep, Fish is in the pits. Fish is in and RSJ is in the pits. I didn't see that coming. No. And, and Lloyd has stayed out. Lloyd. He must have, He must just have uh, aero, aero damage. damage on the front there. I'm surprised that. That will be. We'll that will be lucky for Lloyd if he has. We'll see what his straight line speed is because I would have thought it would be absolutely killing him. I would have thought the corner would be killing him. He's back. He's backing off through the Irish radio complex. So don't think he's quite got the corner group. So I'm surprised he hasn't pitted. I'm guessing his lights are out on your screen now too. Nah, it's still got lights for me. They're, they're not. You still got lights? Huh? Yeah, still got lights. They're not very strong. Is this... In fact, the lights look cross-eyed for me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, triple Darky speed race will be Four seconds on Shads. Fish racing still in Shads the pits. Shads is still in the 25s. So Fish has had major damage. He's still in the pits. Yeah, that's so. a... Sh yeah, that's a leave. shame there. Oh, about to leave. And Night Pegasus is in the pits too. Yep. So is he at an instant or is he just coming in for his stop? He looks he looks like he's just coming in for his stop. Yeah, that's oh, he's out of fuel. Yeah, 15 litres left already. So he's <laughs> done the light fuel. He's Darkly doing... still on 61, so... Yeah. So it looks like Pegasus is doing the inverse strategy to the front runners. Oh, no. Oh, lucky. How much damage does that car have? Did it even hit the wall? Um, I'm not sure. At that point on the track, I he looks like he had to drive. I reckon he's clipped the inside the wall on that last right hander before you get to that long stretch towards Blanchemont. 
I reckon he's clicked inside curb and it's and he's looped it. Or looped it, trying to say gee, that that doesn't look nice on the brakes. No, but that Merc never does, so no. I haven't done much driving in it, but it's never looked stable on the brakes when I've been following you or AJ. <laughs> so all of a sudden now Lloyd could find himself in third place. It's the There's three ca uh yeah, four cars here, all very close together Jeez, after man, a few incidents, train. it doesn't take much, and still 50 minutes to go. It seems from third place down, it's all up for grabs at the moment. Yeah. This will all be for track position. Whoever can get in front of the, in front of the others would be more advantaged by being in clean air when the race goes green tomorrow night for the final session. I uh, don't know who's going to be... All this is kind of played into Speed Racer's hands because he started a fair way back and he's right back in the fight for third at the moment. Yeah, Speed Racer so. finished started over a minute behind. The fact he's closing to 30 seconds shows... Uh, pretty much shows his pace, effectively. Although Speed Racer looked pretty slow. Now, no, I've read the wrong one. The bloody racers. Number can six. They can they change their... Can they put their game tags together so that there's no space between so we actually can tell who's who because it's really yeah. it's making life difficult for me. <laughs> How's Woody going? Woody? He's just putting around at the moment. He's doing alright. He's five seconds behind Speed Racer. He's doing alright. Woody's having a good race. He's having he's a better race a nice than the last year. Yep, and he's having a better race than Dado, I think, because Dado came together with someone, I believe, Ooh, as he runs away. Yeah, he did. I can't remember who he got in touch with, but uh, I was saying before the race got interesting that if you guys have only just tuned in now and missed out on the, missed out on watching the first session, go check out uh, Woody Lizard's uh, stream on Mixer. It is W-O-O-D-Y-L-Y-Z-A-R-D on Mixer.com. And you'll see all the action from session one. Although, that being said, the results Dark from session out one, to six seconds now. The results from session one have now been tossed completely on its head. With the session leader of number one, the number 124 Casho Mercedes down in third, having started in first place. In fact, started with a 26 second lead. But it's now behind Dark Racing by 30 seconds. I think we're going to see some side-by-side -side action on the Camel Straight. Yeah, Triple is very really close to Lloyd. He is. <laughs> and that Merc is quick in a straight line. We'll go on. We'll try and go on board with Triple and see what he's doing. Triple is actually slow through the Irish Radion complex. He, no, he's... Hold on. Here we go. Yep, but Lloyd's... Quite close to Lockie there too. Yeah, he's, I think he went deeper into the can think, go deeper into the cop than what Lockie can. I know that Merc really hates that section of track. And it's, they, they both missed their apex there, so yeah. You know, Lockie's lost a lot of time through that uh, cop, cop, complex over the last uh, last 40 minutes or so. We've got 50 minutes left in this race. And that's uh, Darky on lap 19 now. Stretch his legs to six and a half seconds behind Shads. But we look at this battle as Lockie's run wide. Ooh, Lockie runs, runs wide. Boy, so does Lloyd. Wide. So it could be two slowdowns up for grabs for them both. And Triple be hoping that these two come together to give him uh, two free places. Of course, I don't want Lloyd to crash Ooh. into Lockie or vice versa. Because I want Lockie to. I don't want Lockie to finish as high as possible to give himself a better chance oh, of winning this. Triple runs very wide. Triple has, that could be a slowdown as well. Lloyd is very close to Lockie. That is very close, he's in the slipstream. If he doesn't have that straight line speed of the Merc, look at the Merc just pull away. But he's going to have a lot better brakes coming into the bus stop. We've seen how good Lockie. Lloyd is on the brakes. And... Oh!
that cast very tarily. Yeah, that's not a happy Did card. Did you have much trouble with uh Not really, only until the cop. Other than that, it's pretty stable. But I don't think Locky I think Locky changed He's the setup. He's throwing it up the inside. Me. So yep, Locky's just given that position back and he didn't want to fight it. He knows that if he does fight he will make it more mistakes than what he has currently. So All the while. Speed's caught right up to the back of them again. Yeah. I was actually talking to Speed. I think Speed's loving this. I was talking to Speed after the Bathurst race, and he complained at how much he struggled with keeping up with the Merc in a straight line, even with the benefit of the slipstream. So, yes, Speed is catching Saying up Saying that, to... Speed's doing quicker than times and Shad's at the moment, so... Oh, Triple was... He looked down the inside of Lockie. Did he make that move? No, he didn't. He was able to no. pull it up. But I think that move's going to be coming soon if lucky. Yeah. So speed racing's gone pretty quick at the moment, but Ken, he's struggled with the straight line speed, so hasn't been able to pass any Mercedes cars this season, unless they've made a mistake. So I'll be interested to see how speed goes, especially in, <laughs> through these high speed sections miles quicker than these two Mercedes who both must be running very low aero so they've got the straight line benefit don't quite have the corner group got a three way battle for fourth place here between Lockie, Triple Rotor Racing and Speed Racing Maybe that Honda looks much better on the direction change yeah, yeah it sure does <laughs> But now here, here is the Acura's Kryptonite, the straights. If I was Speed, I'd really be hoping Triple would be taking it to Lucky right now because oh, I don't really speed. want to make it. I would actually make a pit stop, get out of this traffic, and try an undercut. Well, how long is a pit stop? You might end up behind Woody. Well, you, you oh, not Woody. Come um, it definitely pulled. I mean, RSJ. Triple had a slowdown and had to give that place up to speed. So, speed. One Mercedes down, one to go. Speed racer into fifth. Triple, a critical mistake there through Blanchemont has cost him fifth place. They will now have to look at the tail lights, the tail lights of the brand new NSX. See how lucky he does through our rouge this time. He's still he keeping keep it flat, flat, which he keeps the corner. I think he there. had a bit of a wiggle on the top there. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, that Merck's just got straight line speed. Yeah, it just pulls clear. Speed racer. Even triple, he caught up. He caught right up to the oh, back. that's a mistake Speed for racer again. Locky. He lost the back end through Lacombe. He was able to keep it out of that's the wall. That's cost him two places there. Speed Racer. All of a sudden, everything that he wished for has come true. He was hoping for mistakes from the Mercedes so he could slip by. And that's what's exactly, that's exactly what's happened. Speed Racer into fourth place I think and will hunt down Colonel Lloyd. Boyd will be kicking himself that uh, Fish had that spin right now because he'd be well clear of everyone else. Yeah, he would. Well, don't know about that because if Fish didn't have that spin, Fish might probably still be in front of Colonel Lloyd. Um, just due to that straight line speed. It looks like the Mercs. If yeah, that's true. The Mercs don't make the mistakes. They're very hard to pass. But the cars in all three of the Mercs have handled very awkwardly, which is a surprise considering how session one went. Darkie's had a bit of a bad lap that time around. Yeah, he's so his Darkie's top car going off. Dropped a second to Shad's. Shad's back into the 20. Shad's car's come back a bit. So maybe Shad's car's starting to regain what it lost over what's what it's lost over As the last 30 minutes. I think the Honda does handle better better in the warmer conditions and we are starting to see the, uh, the sun come up. Yeah, we're on lap 22 now with 
43 minutes remaining in this session two. Dark Racing started in fourth place, he's now up into now up into first. Shad's started second and is in second place, so he's holding strong, which is all he needs to do in this session. Colonel Lloyd started sixth and he's now in third place. He's done a ripper drive so far. <coughs> but I reckon drive I think Squid will be pretty happy. Drive of the yeah, day Lloyd. so far, I reckon, goes to Speed Racer. Started in ninth place, he's now into fourth and is hunting down Lloyd at a rate of knots. Triple That's gonna get tasty. Yeah, Triple Road in the next fifth 10, place. 20 minutes. Yeah. But Triple Road is not leaving the back of speed too, so. Uh, if I was Triple, I might think about pitting you. Yeah? If I, like you said, yeah, if I lost that spot, you may as well jump in the pits. Yeah, just get you out of that dirty air, especially that wake behind the Adkin is horrendous. How long does how long does it cost you in the pit lane through here? Oh, well, it's a strong. Thirty seconds, because. Pit stop time is about 10 to 15 seconds to fill up on fuel. That's probably another 15 seconds to if, down the pit lane. There's probably a bit of a gap between RSJ and Monty at the moment if Triple were to come into the pits. We might make that gap. It's been, yeah, about 10 second gap between Monty and RSJ. It's probably too close to make a pit stop. It's definitely too close to make a pit stop. You come out behind RSJ. Starting to settle down a little bit, about one second gaps throughout the field between these three. Um, speed is charging, but we won't see a battle yet. I'll tell you what. You say that, but he's. he's I think we're going to see it. See it now. See it now almost. Yeah. Yeah. I think Lloyd made a bit of a mistake. Was not much of one, but just enough to. I wonder if that. Contact with fish early in the races really hurt me, hurting straight line speed. It's good for the Honda, great for the Merc. See Lockie into the pits now. <laughs> so he's the first car to blink out of this out of the top seven. Speed looks good through there. It looked a bit narrow coming yeah. over to radio, so I wonder if he cut the corner. You'd hope he didn't, because then he can close up even closer to Lloyd and make a really good battle. And look at that Merc closer! Oh, oh, oh no. triple! <laughs> oh, don't do that, son. <laughs> <laughs> that closing speed of that Merc That's... is unbelievable. He's kind of, he, he shot himself in the foot there, Triple, because both he and Speed have lost time to Lloyd now for, after that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not really, it wasn't intentional, it was just, I reckon Triple's brake where no. he normally brakes, but he was carrying 10 kilometers extra speed to what he normally would. That almost ended yeah. in disaster. Now, Woody, he's still doing good. He's only 43 seconds off on lead. As these guys battle, they're slowly coming falling back to him almost. Yeah. Because he's still in the 24s. That's that's a valued effort for Woody. Yeah, it's a good comeback considering um, how tough his first two weeks have been. He's really str really struggled at Bathhouse and he really struggled at Laguna Seca. Speed racer. It's just in my his drive at the moment. Starting ninth, he's now in fourth place. Whereas Lockie has been the biggest loser in this session. He finished first, and he's now down in eighth place. Uh, but he has just, pitted. He has pitted, so he probably jumps up to about sixth place or something. It's still been a tough session for him. The car, that Mercedes, the number one, two, four. Cash show Mercedes is really strong in these Actually, conditions. Has, has Lockie made another mistake? Because he's over, he's about a minute behind 
triple at the moment. Oh, almost a minute. Yeah, 50 seconds, sorry. Uh, not sure. That would depend. Because I didn't think the pit lane was that long. Yeah, but he might have, what he might have done is he might have changed tyres as well. Because I remember oh, in the first okay. session, I accidentally changed the tyres on my car. Cost, it would have cost oh, me session 10, 15 seconds. Lap times were really good when I was on the slick tyres, but no, I wondered if that's what Lockie's it's done. Make it pit at the halfway mark. To put on a set of fresh tyres so you can go on these. So you can almost fix the car up a little bit and get the car handled and start closing in on these guys. Well, unfortunately for uh, Fish Racing, his times are actually still doing good. He's in the 23s, he's faster than uh, the three that he was battling with. Even Woody's in the 23s at the moment, so yeah. the track's starting to warm up and come to everyone. Yeah, exactly. With the sun starting to rise here at Spa Front Champ. Start seeing more of the track now than what we were at the start of the session. Lights are still ablaze on the cars, but you might be 20 minutes away from seeing some some of these guys turn the lights off. But yeah, that's another thing that these Just drivers will have to contend with: is the sun and popping up out of the trees could blind some of the drivers. Now. Sergeant LB West Bay. 35 litres left on Triple's car. We have one driver, we have Cosmic Robbie in the race director spot. Uh, he controls all the camera views, and I'm in the broadcast spot. I just look at whatever screen Cosmic Robbie's looking at. So, it's. Darky's back in the 22s. Yeah. Oh, so, Darky's just flying. He's picked up the pace again, he's taken off. Now, in that. In that first session, Darky had a bit of trouble towards the end with uh, the car got a bit loose, so we'll see how he goes in this session. Hopefully he goes better, because he had a bit of a spin and ended up taking his wing off. Yeah. Which sent him back into your way, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm bet you he's uh, pretty happy he got that lap back off you <laughs> in that last few laps. Yeah, you'd be <laughs> very, pe very pleased, because he's yeah, got himself an eight second gap over Shad's. I'm actually surprised at how slow Shads has been over the course of this stint compared to Darky. That Acura has really hated that nighttime stint. Um, everything sort of settled out at the moment. It's still close between speed race and triple. Except for these two. But triple's looking oh. down the inside. He's making oh. the dive. No, Can't quite pull no, it out. Pulled out of that. That's a good decision. He really should just jump in the pits now because. It's coming all that time, and if he can jump in before speed and just pump out a few fast laps, he could jump in. Yeah, I wonder how much fuel... But then again, he is going to have to put in more fuel, too. Yeah, I wonder how much fuel Triple will have to put in. He's on 32, so he's actually not much different to speed. It's only about a 6 litre difference. I'm a bit surprised with that. Let's start. 34. So Shad's so, been very good. Half year ago, well. Shad's. Uh, Shad's will have, they'll have to put on about 20 litres to run it close, I think. 20, 20, at least 25 litres, I think. From, yeah. Well, it'd be from memory. To what, yeah. <laughs> to what you did on the first day. Speed racing now. He's pulled clear of triple through the corner and stuff, so triple might have got himself a slowdown. We'll see that note close up soon enough. Just in case anybody was we put enough fuel in the car this time. <laughs> I had an extra 20 litres long. <laughs> yeah, Koshi got, so hopefully Koshi Koshi got the race with that. <laughs> Yeah, it really did it. I was, I was okay with it. Yeah, really. Long championship, so you were still not too leading long, the but long enough. Yeah, the car we're showing right now of Shads and Cosmic Robbie Where's are Darky actually leading the, the championship, championship at the moment. Uh, this is this bodes well for us because don't quite have the championship standings up. I've only been going off memory. I know it's a 12-point lead between 
between this, the uh, the number 147, slightly mad racing Acura, and the number 124 Casho Mercedes of Lockheed and Sato. I do like this formula with the uh, pro and pro am and pro and amateur driver. It's led to some good battles, rather. Yeah, it's it's really shaped. The best two up. guys jumping in and. As much as the fast guys probably hate it, but it's throwing up some really good racing. As I'm yeah, loving it. <laughs> lots of different strategies because you can put the fast driver in at the start, try and see if you, the slow driver can hold it up, or you put the slow driver in this, at the beginning, put the fast driver in at the end, and it'll and you if you be in clean air for most of the races or most of the sessions, the putting your Putting the pro driver in last is actually the fastest strategy. But when. Uh, well, you say that. Yeah, but, but when the amateur driver in last has won the last two races, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has, but it often, come, <laughs> often comes down to traffic more than anything. Had traffic affect yes. the races of the last, the last tour. Oh, Shahaz has made got too hot into the bus stop. Might have been worth just to cut it. Um, deal with the slowdown as uh, triple keeps getting a uh, slow speed races into third, triple into fourth. So we've actually seen a disconnect there. Who's um, Colonel like Lloyd has disconnected. Lloyd's that is disconnected. a bitter oh. pill to swallow for uncrewed squid. Oh. Who I know has been watching as I've um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. And, uh, my, Controller turned off there, but um, that's heartbreaking. That yeah, jeez, Uncle Squid is that a that, that car cannot get any luck. No, it can't. I think um, because of Bathurst, think, it was, uh, you've uh, passed on that cash show uh, curse to uh, the McLaren. Yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> the well, someone got really number squirrely. fifty nine, the garage fifty nine team McLaren team just can't get anything going whatsoever. Lockie's dropped right off the pace now. Yeah, he's then the 26. The 26s. I'm he's really not sure if that's a mistake or... The car should start to come back to him now, because I think as the sun comes up, that work starts to handle a bit better. I would hope. Well, I would hope. <laughs> I, would. Yeah. I don't want him too far back. Well, but, the uh, pressure formula should be only about 30 seconds back at the moment, so... Yeah. It's an achievable... You should be able to get a decent result out of that. Yeah, so I think Lockheed's the first of the cars that have pitted. So it'll be interesting to see where everything... Uh, where, how everything turns out at the end. As I actually reckon Fish Race will be closing up on Lockheed. It's like two seconds difference. Yes. Yeah, he is. He's getting, he's getting, and obviously, race fish racing's pitted too. So he actually might still be in for a decent result here after everyone comes into the pits because he's been putting in fast lap times by himself. We've got, we've actually got the man who's uh, suffered a, a fair bit of heartbreak this race. And Colonel Lloyd has joined the race. Colonel, bit of a disconnection there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Just coming out of the pit lane and. Automatic disqualification for some reason. Oh, you got disqualified. Oh. oh. What for? Yes. Did it say what for? Look, nope, just said automatic disqualification. Oh no. That. That's heartbreaking. They. So, no penalties the whole race or anything. And then that happens. He's unbelievable. That that McLaren. After going so strong at the hard. start. Yeah. Oh, you're driving a ripper race. I think you were in third place when you made your pit stop. Yep. That, Which that I tagged the inside of the uh, wall on the entry there as well and got stuck for a bit. Yeah. I actually want to talk about that contact you had with Fish Racing. Uh, what happened there from your point of view? Uh, he just hit the curb and lost the rear end. And by the time I'd realised he was going round, it was too late. 
you get any damage? Yeah. Did you get much damage from that? Yeah. I had 11 arrow on the front. But I kept running it. It was about a second a lap slower. Oh, I would have, I would have pitted in your shoes. Or in that one you were running pretty strong, strong still, though, like, considering. Yeah, well, the guys behind me didn't seem to be catching me too quick. I think they were having a little battle on their own. Well, the and Mercs have really struggled in the corners of this track, uh, or in this session so far. Oh, yeah. Well, I think actually Triple, he's starting to struggle now. He's dropped off Triple a little bit. He was a second slow of that last lap. And he's made a couple of mistakes in this lap, so. Yeah, These well, Mercs aren't looking that, that hot at the moment. No, it's very bizarre considering how the first session went. Except for Fish, Fish still looks strong. So. Yeah, it's just unfortunate for that spin. He's still doing, he's doing 223s at the moment. Yep. Yeah, fastest driver on track the previous lap was Fish. Yeah. Lockie's really He looks struggled. like he might have a run on Lockie. Ooh. Lockie's um, struggling with the car a little bit. He's oh, here we go. The, there's That's something wrong with it and he doesn't know what it is. Ah, so it could be a bit of a setup up issue. That's fairly standard pass for Fish there. I think Lockie's not really fighting it. Yeah, so... Nah, he's not. He's just looking on. He, he just wants to do the laps and... That's all he needs make to sure do. ...make sure he's not too far behind for Sutter. <laughs> I don't care how far behind he is as long as he finishes without being... Like multiple laps down. Hopefully, Squid won't be too far down. Yeah. Should make a couple of laps up on some people tomorrow. Oh, Triple Road is in the pits. Yep, so he's blinked first. He'll yeah. be looking to undercut. 20 litres in the, left in the tank, so he could have gone longer. But with the sun now rising on the track, it's a good time to. Uh, to pit, fill up on fuel, and readjust those tire pressures for some warmer weather. Did he change tires? I haven't seen yet. That was the fuel in. Yeah, it's RSJ's got him on the pit. Has RSJ pitted yet? No, I uh, don't nah, think he, hasn't. he has. RSJ has not <coughs> pitted yet. So he's he made a couple of mistakes oh, earlier no, on. Has RSJ been pitted? He followed you in Lloyd. Did he? Did he really? Yeah, I that's right. I thought he did. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, if he had followed me, he would have hit me. Because I got stuck on the pit entry. I thought I saw... I, I, no, I'd have been someone else. But I thought I saw him follow you in. No, I don't remember. I reckon, someone. I reckon RSJ's the last of the cars that have not pitted. Ah! Oh. No, not you. It would have been... It was. He's followed Fish Racing in, sorry. That's right. Oh, it was he was fish and oh, RSJ. Yeah, it was. They went that, that is true. So RSJ is actually right. first of the cars that hasn't pitted. In fact, if it stays as is, RSJ is actually going to be third place. I can't believe I forgot about that. Because yeah, this is RSJ and really fish came together. RSJ, cause... Yeah, because they but came RSJ. together at Blanchmont, um, RSJ and fish racing, and that's why I reckon RSJ got like one or two aero damage on the front, and that's why he came in. I can't believe I forgot about that. That is, that is uh, yeah, race changing something information. <laughs> something happened here well, between with speed racer because Woody's right on him now. Yeah. Oof. Who's going to pit first? Let's go to speed that racer because speed racer and Woody are locked in battle. Woody Lizard's cars come alive in the last few laps. Like, uh, I think I think uh, Speed's made a mistake somewhere because Woody was two seconds, well, a second slower the last lap. Oh, they're both in the pits. Oh, they're both coming to the pits. Oh, oh, oh I thought oh, he was oh. going to go into the back of him there. I think I think Speed Race might have tagged the wall there too. That's like that's like two two people trying to get into the one driveway at the fastest, as quick as possible, but both come in at the, the same time and completely blindsides the person behind. I'll expect uh, Darkie and Shads to pit this next lap too, and that might actually give Shads the advantage. Now I'll be interested to see who has the who has the longer pit stop. Can Woody short fill his car or jump ahead of speed? 
No. The speed race is off. Speed's out. Woody's not going. No. So, something's happening. He's now. Oh, speed's out. Speed, speed's out. Speed had a quick stop because he didn't change tyres. He only put fuel in. Yeah, did. I don't know if Woody changed tyres though. He's put less fuel in too, Woody, I think. He might Actually, have that's going to be damage. close on fuel. Oh, it should, not careful. should be enough. Oh, no, it should, it should be alright, but it'll be. Woody comes out side by side Ooh. with Triple Rotor Racing. And Triple, Triple Rotor Racing moves into fifth place now. And uh, I reckon Fish, I reckon that's Fish in the background. That is Fish in the background. He's um, He's been putting in decent laps and he's made up for that, all that damage he has to, he had to take in the pit stop. Yeah. Sixth place is not that's out a solid of the question. That's a great comeback. No. And that was a he solid to be struggling pit stop a bit. for Speed Racer. Because he's pulled 16 seconds on triple the pit stop. That is a yeah. huge gap, yeah. 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 When will Speed Racer... No, nah, he's pitted. When will Dark and no, Shad's it's, it's, pit? It's Shad's and Dark. Dark and Shad's the last 14 litres. Oh, triple's come off the track. Oh, triple! Oh, Triple was put in the wall at the corner with no name. Oh. He was running such That's a good a race. He was too. doing well. And that'll be your teammate. That'll be aero damage, maybe even suspension damage. He was running. Did he, do that? he did that by himself, didn't he? Yeah. He was next yeah, to he just ahead of Woody. That is tough. I think he hit the wall too hard, so I don't know about suspension, but definitely aero damage. How does this car look? Doesn't take much to get aero damage. <laughs> I don't think Lockie wanted to see another car for the rest of the race, he just wanted to concentrate on keeping them clean. And now he's going to start closing in on triple. Will Darkie pick this lap? darkie has been Close. quite a bit better on Chad's than fuel because I'm not that Audi seems a lot better on fuel than well, that. That Audi's actually pretty good on Honda's on its fuel efficiency despite it having four extra cylinders than the Acura. It seems it seems yeah, to be well, the most fuel efficient car with the about, I think he must have started with at least ten liters less than Chad's and now he's ahead of Chad's on fuel. Yeah. So my hope that Shad was going to be able to undercut Darky and put less fuel on boards out the window. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Darky's continuing on. Darky's not in. <laughs> he can do about another two, maybe three laps if they really push it. Yeah. Sun definitely up now. Blinding the drivers through the bus stop chicane. Don't make get getting that car pointed straight for that for the pit straight, that makes that very difficult. There's no real battles on the track at the moment, which is... Uh, not really, but <clears throat> you sort of expect that in endurance yeah. racing. It's all about churning away the laps. But what a drive from this guy, RSJ. Well, he got a bit lucky in that he got very little damage from um, Fish's car. Was able to come into the pits, get that fixed straight away, and he's undercutted almost Almost everyone. The entire field. <laughs> yeah. The only drivers he hasn't undercut is, is Dark in Shads. And in case you weren't there at the start, RSJ fit started. Um, started in fifth place and dropped down at the start. He dropped behind Lloyd and and speed for a little bit. I think definitely behind Fish. I actually, I think Fish is Fish is catching Woody. At the moment, I think. Uh, I think Woody's made a mistake last lap too. Fish. Or was that the lucky pit? That might have been the lucky pit. Yeah, I think. I think yeah, I think that was a pit stop lap. No. Oh. That's 
it's usually around the ballpark for coming out of the pits. It's about the, the first times you'll see when guys come out of the pits in practice. Oh, I love the sound of that V10 monster. It sounds, Audi. it sounds good on the straights, doesn't it? It does. Now, surely Darkie's going to pit this lap. He doesn't have to, but you'd think he would. Well, you don't want to push it too hard. Although, if I was Shad, I'd definitely pit this lap to make sure he doesn't have any fuel. Yep. Oh, here comes Darkie. He's in. Darkie's in. That was a pretty and good what Shad's entry, gonna do. too. That was almost yeah, as perfect. Yeah, that was very tidy. It's almost as perfect as you can get. Here comes Shad's. Will he stay out? He is. No, he's staying he's out. He's going to try overcut. Doing one more lap at least. That car might be feeling really good at the moment. He doesn't want to come into the pits and ruin the time well, pressure. Time. 23.5. So he's into the 23s now, so... He's been in the 23s the last few laps. He did a 23.3 the lap looked before, a bit, so... Shad's looked a bit sideways through turn one. I reckon he lost a couple of tenths there. I think uh, Fisher Racing is catching Woody. Oh, well, he had a bad luck the last time around, but slowly starting to see that gap come down a little bit. So Dark is out, out of the pits. We'll be interested to see how these two come out together. We have 17 minutes left of session two. And we're about 7 o'clock local time. Chad's is going to have to stop this lap. close if he'd be running really close if he did one more lap after this he might be able to get away yeah. with one extra lap but i know that shads has had either him or his teammates have had a lot of fuel issues this year on a number of occasions so if he was smart he <laughs> would remind me <laughs> <laughs> you know, when he ran out of fuel nah, twice he's run out of fuel twice in indy cars so Three times, I think, even. So he loves to run it. He loves to run it fine, the shads. But in a race like this, you don't want to run it fine. Here's Darkie going. Maybe bring up the track map. That'd be good to see where. That's a good idea, yeah. Just to see where everyone is. So here's shads coming up towards. Uh, have they? They've lapped everyone, have they? No, they no, can't. No, I they don't know why they're showing up blue. Only, uh, they're showing up blue because they're half a lap down. Oh, uh, yep. But the only driver that's been lapped this session has been Night Pegasus, which I have surprisingly yeah. have not seen thus far. Well, that's good. Oh, oh, Shads is in. You scared me then, Shads. That's a very interesting thought approach was go to for the another lap. Lane. It was. I'm... I'm not a fan of that. He also <laughs> just tagged the wall a little bit, I think. 3.5 litres left in the tank, so he definitely could not have done another lap. Into the pits goes Shads. He's not going to hold on to first place, though, as here comes Darkie past him now. Darkie into the lead. <coughs> that's... That's why it didn't work. That's... Yeah, that's a good effort from Darkie here. He's got 31 litres of fuel on board. Chad says 33. Yep. Yeah, get rid of the track map. As Sorry. we have less than 15 minutes left in this session, Chad's has come out. He's, I reckon Chad's has dropped more time than... Yeah, as he's dropped a couple of seconds, I think, in the pit stop, but I don't think we'll be too concerned about that. It's all about finishing this session. Just keep the car clean for the final 14 minutes. I think uh, Shad's me are in a pretty good position to win this race. Because obviously Darky Hyperjuice is taking over for Darky tomorrow. And he's not quite he's not as quick as Darky, so. Nah, Hyperjuice uh... has really struggled in the first couple of races. He might be able to turn around tomorrow, but he's a very outside chance. Maybe. If I was a betting man. I would See. not. I would not bet on the high producer to win the race, unfortunately. But 
but if the, this car's handling is sick as it has been this session tomorrow, then Shaz is going to find it very tough indeed. Yeah, Sh Shaz's uh, pit lap was about two seconds slower than Darkie's. I think Darkie would have a 49 flat. Shaz has done a 50.8. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the gaps are looking like similar. Beads. Sorry, you go, Lady. Speed's making some time up on RSJ. Yes. Yeah. Speed has been flying this session. It's, think, taken uh... him, it's taken him two weeks to finally unlock the secrets in that <laughs> Acura. He's starting to charge through the pack. <laughs> Actually, I'm basically kind of critical of Speedo, so I'm looking at the results for Laguna Seca, and he finished fourth, so he actually did a good job there. Just didn't quite have the same pace as Shads and myself. But, ever since Bathurst, I mean, well Bathurst, I reckon Speed Race is very harsh on himself. He's been really struggling with his driving, he's still getting good results though, he's was third at Bathurst, fourth at Laguna Seca, and he's in fourth place now, so he struggles a bit, he says, he does a good job. Yeah, but we're always going to be pretty critical of ourselves when we're not winning, so I understand his pain. Yes. Yeah. I tell you what, I admire the, the drive from Woody Lizard. He's, uh, this is his standout driver of the season so far. He's done very good. Well, especially he'll be happy with to, that too. He... Compared to what happened to him in the previous two races, where he just yeah, well he, he dropped it at Laguna Seca, didn't he? Yeah, and he dropped it. Wheel issues. Speed was behind, him, cost behind him. him. Yeah, yeah. It was a seventh place and a, and a ninth place so far this season for Woody Lizard and Dado Racer. So for them to be in fifth place now, um, with still a session to go, mind you, but they'll be pretty pleased with their performances thus far. Just looking at Triple's last lap, he did a 222, he's coming over the line now. See what he gets here. So Triple crossing the line. Another 22. He was the fastest driver on that previous oh. lap, so... He's actually catching... I'm not sure how much so damage he, he would have got damage. from that runoff earlier. He might have fixed a bit of the over. Put a bit more understeer in the car then. Well, maybe it's helped him. So all of a sudden, the, the Mercs of Fish and Triple have now been turned on now that the, the sun's out and there's some heat now going back into the track. Darkie's still quick with a 22-4 that last lap. Tell you what. Say what He's we... flying still. I tell you what, if everything stays as is, the final session, the gaps are going to be starting a lot closer than what they did for this session. Yeah. Darkie's just on rails at the moment. He's... I, 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 I can't confirm this, but I have not seen his time drop below a 23. I've, I've not seen him in the 24s once. Oh, I've Every time I've looked, like he's made a mistake. Triple's just passed him. But not often. Yeah, Triple. oh no. Oh, fish has made... Too. Something's happened to Fish. Well, but not too much, because he's still right on the back of him. Well, it was well, the other way around. You've got 10 minutes of... There's fish ahead of triple, and now it's triple ahead of fish. So something drastic has happened to fish. Might have spun it. Might have spun it at the com or something. I know it's a pretty and easy thing. Now triple's going to get a slowdown. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to see how it all transpires over the next straight or so. Bees. Oh no, Jay now. Yeah. yeah. The... Yeah, speed has caught up to RSJ, so we've got a battle for third place now. With nine minutes left to go in this session. And I tell you what... Ain't even lots of fuel for oh. RSJ. He went for a move then, I think, Fish. Yeah, he did. Oh, Triple's got this a penalty. 
Oh, triple does too. So you didn't slow down enough when you ran wide. It's a triple now defending from fish racing. It's the battle of the Mercs. Oh, oh. Triple <laughs> lost the back end there. It's tight. It's very tight. I think that was a. I think that was a bit of triple trying to cover the inside and. I think that. Oh, oh. oh that's a corner cut for fish. I didn't see what happened to the triple. But fish will have to won't be able to dive down the inside unless he gets himself a one second penalty. Triple to the inside. Fish to the outside. Who is going to break latest? As they enter Lacombe, one of the toughest quarters on the track. Oh. Fish has got the solid move done. fish. He's done well for that. It's it's not easy going around the outside there, but he's pulled it off well. Now let's go for this Our battle. Is one wide. Yeah. Yeah, Speedy's putting the pressure on RSJ now. RSJ's driven a brilliant race. But could only net him fourth place. But with seven and a half minutes to go, can he hang on? It's interesting, we've had a, a lot of talk about over the few this week about how much quicker the Mercs are than everyone else, but uh I think the closest Mercs in six, I think. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, quick in a straight line, but just couldn't quite handle the corners those Mercs in this in this session. The night time Obviously your Mercs quick not... pretty quick now, Sato, isn't it? Well, not at the moment. <laughs> Sitting in eighth place at the moment. Ooh. Speed is looking. He's back he's looking. Down the road. Oh, that's some, oh, that's some, some contact there. RSJ left him room and put speed in two minds there. Thinking about a bit messy through that corner. Yeah, speed will be looking. Here. Speed will be looking down the inside here at turn one at La Source. And RSJ just gives that place up. I think uh, speed's had a bit of a snap or something. He looked very on the inside for me at that corner. Yeah. It looked a bit funny. I don't know why. I think that's this. I reckon it's this story done and dusted the third. Still an excellent drive from Irish Jay there. Oh, he's, he's done, done a very fantastic well. job. After an early pit stop, just churned away the laps and was able to undercut everyone that was ahead. Almost everyone that was ahead of him. Now, as we say that, uh, Fish is gapped. Um, Doing the commentary at the moment. by seven seconds. So Sup Triple's made another mistake there, and he might actually, like he's only six seconds away, so if he makes another couple, like he might come back in the last five minutes and get yeah. seventh place. Oh, that, that number 124 Mercedes has struggled big time throughout this session. I've got to say, look, he's done, he's done better than he did at Bathurst, so... He's done a pretty good job, considering how much of a handful we've been told that um, well, exactly. Mercedes has been, so to hang on to it. He's done alright. If he hasn't hit the wall, he hasn't damaged it, so... He's done better than a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Hand over the car, you probably close to, it'll be around 35, 40 seconds behind, I would say. As we'd be approaching the end of the lap, I'm trying to work out what lap we're on, I think lap 38, by the looks of it. Five minutes to go. It's also good to see uh, Night Pegasus still running around. He's been off the pace, but he's, he's working to try and get faster, so it's good to see he's committed. He's been a very respectful driver too, over the past, always letting the leaders through without any hassle. He looks like he has touched a wall or two though, so... Ah, uh, yeah, he may, he's made a few <laughs> mistakes here and there. He's only only recently joined the group, as I said at the start of the telecast. He's getting dangerously close to that wall of death, so I'd hate to see him hit the wall of death and really ruin his car. He looks like he's like he's struggling a bit for a year. I think he never quite got to grips with how how much grip this car's got. Uh, but it's good to see him still putting in deep. Good luck. Yeah, so well, that's it's always nice to see these guys just turn up and just come in for a bit of fun. 
Chats has actually been quicker than Darky over the past few he years. Has. He's closed up to 12 seconds behind. Probably a bit too little too uh, late. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Oh, Lockie's in the pits. Oh, no. So something's happened to Lockie. That looks like he's tapped for it. He's hit looks the wall. like it's yeah. driving left to right, doesn't it? Yeah. Bit of yeah. steering damage there. Oh, no. so that's going to cost him a lap. Which is a real shame. Yep, I can hear Darky go bugger. past now. I think that was Darky anyway. Yeah, it was. <coughs> but you should. Darky's done a 23.7 that lap, so he hasn't had a brilliant lap considering the pace he's been at, so. He's starting to struggle now, the temperature's. What's Shad's done? Oh, Shad's is in the 21s. That's a very quick lap. 21.4. Yeah, Acura's starting to come alive in the warmer temperatures, so... Yeah, so maybe a good omen for the next session. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. There's still a long way to go, but... Yeah, there's two minutes left in this session, though. Still a few question marks up for grabs. <laughs> as we as we've... Oh, jeez, Speed Racer. Almost threw away third place there. Got massively sideways. Excellent bunch one. Yeah, that I could actually spun there in that first race. I managed yeah, to that could have. do 360 degrees and keep going <laughs> straight. <laughs> uh, yeah, that could have been all that hard work that Speed Race has done this session out of the. <laughs> Pretty much done and thrown away. But he's managed to hang on to it. Still in third place. Done a ripper drive, studied ninth place at Speed Racer. He's moved up into third, past all of his rivals. Woody Lizard's done a brilliant job too. Dado Racer really struggled in that first session. I reckon he got collected once or twice. But Woody Lizard's been very consistent throughout the entire stint. Not the fastest, but he's kept it pretty consistent. And the fifth place is just is a just reward for him after his struggles. Of course, still one second to go, so anything can happen in the final session. That will be held. Um, <coughs> We'll be on uh, tomorrow night at, at 7.30. Unfortunately, I don't know who's going to be broadcasting it, so I can't quite direct you where to go. I've got to say, so who do you think the, the driver of the, the session is? Because I think... Uh, best, driver, best driver of this session has been speed racing, no questions in my mind. So you say that. I think we should also put Darky in there too, because he's consistently been faster than Chad's, and that's no easy task. <laughs> uh, it's always difficult, but Darky's been quick all week. He always knew that the Audi would Look be. Look at those a... last two times. Yeah. So where is Darky yeah. on track at the moment? Back straight. So he's on camera straight, so no, this is the front last. Straight. He's. This will be the last lap of the race. The time's about has just expired now. It's been a commanding drive from Dark Racing ever since he overtook Shads at the dead of the night. He's been able to power through. He's built up a at one stage a 14 second gap. It's down to 11 seconds now, but he's just controlling the pace. He'll hand the car over to the Hyperjuice, who can hopefully hold off the fast finishing shads. And towards Prawn now. You don't want to get a slowdown, so you don't want to spin out on this last lap. Just keep it nice and tidy. Dark Racer, one of our most experienced drivers in our group, has been driving with us since its inception. Has driven every sort of car imaginable. Has tuned this he Audi to me perfection. He Sorry. <laughs> he did tell me that he, he wasn't a fan of the Indy cars. He doesn't like open wheels, but he was really looking forward to these tin tops coming up. So we can see that now that he does really like the tin tops. <laughs> He'll be looking good when we go to Le Mans next week in the 
Audi LP1. <laughs> might he, might have to start calling him an Audi works driver. Here we go. He knows he's done a good job. He's yeah. flashing his lights. Good yep. on him. He's already Lights celebrating with two corners to go. <laughs> Very ambitious. Don't drop it yet, son. <laughs> <laughs> but Nick goes just the final corner. Well, he's done he crosses well. the line. And he wins session two. That's pole position for the start of session three. What a drive from Dark Racing. But Shad's... And Shad's has got a penalty on the last the lap. Last corner. Oh, he, I don't think it's going to affect much. He actually slowed down a bunch too. Yeah, he had a, he had a speeding but penalty, he's, I think. And he's caught one too. Yeah, it was a corner yeah. cut on that very last corner there. Oh. So Shad's, he's done a... He's done a pretty decent job considering how poorly that car's been handling did that session. Second place, a um, pretty good result. Lockie crossed the line a lap down in eighth, but now his speed racer in third place. <coughs> Gear 3 Gamer didn't put, put his car in the best of positions, but he worked with what he had. And to get himself into third place has been a stellar drive. One of the best drives he's ever had in our group, in my opinion. As he runs the final two corners now, he's coasting Knight Pegasus. Knight Pegasus finishes in ninth place, but here comes Speed. He'll be pleased with that. Weaving across the line to celebrate, because he is really stoked with that. Third place for Speed Racer. Fish Just Racing. to see how place. close this gap was. It's not quite RSJ now crosses the line. Yep, RSJ crossing the line, fourth place. He's done a pretty good job too. He's kept it clean. Both he and Woody have kept it clean the whole race. And by keeping it clean and consistent, they've got themselves very good starting positions for session three. Triple rotor racing. Had speed. Whoa. Oh, what's. What was that smoke? <laughs> I reckon. I reckon Lockie hit the wall of death after the finish line. <laughs> but <laughs> oh. thank you so much to those that have watched. Lockie finishing 8th, Knight Pickers 9th. Unfortunately, Colonel Lloyd finished down in 10th. But we thank him for joining the commentary box nonetheless. For giving us some expert comments oh, along the way. <clears throat> so thank you. Thank you, Cosmic, for being the race director for this for this session. No otherwise, otherwise it. these uh, broadcasts look very ugly with the interface up there. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I would like to tell you where session three would be broadcast, but I can't tell you. I can't quite tell you that. So, uh, follow me on Twitter at at underscore Sato15, or follow me at, on Facebook at Sato15. I'll put a link on my social media pages where you can go to watch the final installment of the ANZ CRL Intercontinental GT Challenge. I'm your host, Sato15, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.